I'd like to demonstrate um, analysis of proportion uh, data in Insight and then again in Insight Lite. So I've opened up a um, imported some data which is a contingency table, a 2 by 2 table. Um, individuals asked um, yes or no and option A, option B. So this is two categorical vari variables. Um, with this combination, this four combinations of, of responses. Before I do the test, I need to expand this table. So I do that from the data set menu, frequency tables, expand table, and click OK. And what that does is collapses that, or expands the table into a repeated um, observations per combination. So the yes option A, there were 78 of those and that's now taking up 78 rows in this table sheet. If I select one of these variables, and I should really rename it, but um, selecting that then it draws a relative frequency bar graph for me when I click get inference. It offers me this. If I want to test a proportion, um, suppose I thought they should be equally likely. So um, probability or, or proportion equal to 0.5. Two-sided test. Click OK and that gives me this using a normal approximation to the sample proportion. So that's what the p-value is based on there. Um, if I did the same inference um, but using an exact p-value then this, um, this p-value is using the binomial distribution. And we can see here um, they're fairly close and qualitatively they give the same conclusion at um, a test level of alpha is 5%. Uh, we can see the, the um, confidence intervals there are identical. If I introduce the second categorical variable um, so now I've got this 2x2 two two situation here when I click get inference it's offering me just a chi-squared test. This is actually doing a um, comparison of, of the two sample proportions um, but it's via the chi-squared distribution which is essentially the square of the normal standardized score. Um, so we can not worry about that detail, but just go straight for the p-value, um, which enables us to draw a conclusion. In Insight Lite, um, I import the data set, so I navigate to where that file is, um, and it brings in the table. On the data set menu again, frequency tables, um, my only option here is to expand the table and that does the same thing, it's showing us five at a time. Um, I guess we could ask for 50 entries and so we've got those, those combinations. From the visualize menu, this is the where both the, the, the graphing and the inference occur. Um, selecting the column variable and um, I get the, the box plot inference gives me the ability to test the proportion with a null and alternative hypothesis and um, there's the normal uh, based p-value or an exact p-value based on the binomial distribution. Uh, there's actually a bug here we can see that that's, um, that's half of what it should be um, so if I choose a greater than one-sided altern alternative, notice that number doesn't change. Um, so that should be doubled for a two-sided test. Um, hopefully that resolves um, between the time I'm making this video and you using it. Um, but just, just be aware that there's a potential problem. Bringing in the second variable, um, so again get the bar graph, the inference um, gives me the chi-squared test um, and um, 
there we go. So the the um, this is a test of equal equal proportions. Okay, so very similar um, use of the software. The interface interfaces uh, match reasonably well in terms of the menus. We use the file menu to bring the data in, the data set menu to expand the table. Here visualize is where both the graphing and the getting inference is happening. Um, but otherwise pretty easy to flip between 